Okay, this time we've moved indoors. And although we don't have some of the obvious ambient sound issues like birdsong, road noise, neighbours working in their gardens, we do have room acoustic issues to contend with. At the moment I'm using a small diaphragm condenser mic that's camera mounted. It's about six feet away or two metres from me, which means it's picking up a lot of room reverb. The room I'm in isn't particularly large, uh, about 5 metres by 5 metres by 2.2 metres high, but it does have bare walls, bare ceiling and laminate floor. So that's creating a lot of reflections within the room. The only saving grace is there's some soft furnishing in here that helps to absorb some of those reflections. I think you're likely to be able to hear quite clearly that this is a less than perfect method for recording my voice even in this environment because the mic is picking up a lot of the room acoustics in relation to my voice. And imagine what this would be like in an even larger room where the reverb issues would be even greater. Next I'm going to move the mic and boom it in just out of shot above my head. This time obviously again moving the mic in much closer to the sound source and therefore effectively increasing that signal to noise ratio between the desired sound, i.e. my voice, and the reflections of that sound, which are the room acoustics. Okay, this time we're in the same room with the same small diaphragm condenser mic, but this time it's been boomed in to within one and a half feet or 45 centimetres uh, of my face which means that it's much closer to the sound source and therefore the signal to noise ratio between the desired sound, i.e. my voice, and the ambient reverb is much greater. Hopefully you'll be able to hear that generally speaking this is a much more desirable uh, audio quality than when I had the mic camera mounted. <laughs> 